Hi, in this tutorial, I will talk about the loggers in AEM and how to write a custom log file with log level. So what are we going to cover in this? Uh, first, we'll see how to write a logs if you are not aware. Then we'll see how to create a custom log file for a particular requirement. And then we'll see what are the log levels. This is important. And sometimes there are questions in certification exam as well as the interview questions. Some direct questions related to this topic as well as some indirect questions. And then we'll see the demo of whole. Okay, so let's understand how to write a log. Uh, log. Suppose I have simple class um, Sling model. This is true for either any, any kind of backend component like Sling model, scheduler, uh, event listener, or any kind of even the servlet or even a simple class, right? So how how you can print that logger? First of all, you have to import SLF four uh, J logger. Uh, this is not specific to AEM. You can use these API any in any Java application, but this is the way how we use in AEM. Okay. Once you have imported, then you have to get logger. Okay. From the logger factory, and this this object from the logger for this object. This is the name of my class. Okay. This way. Once you have this, then you can print your log. Right. So how will you print that? Now from this logger, now you can print the logs. Okay. So now few things you need to understand. For the printing, you will use this object to print logs. And what is the logger you will get? This. This will be your class name. Whatever you're using. Two things you need to import uh, understand here. And then you will use this method info. You can have a different kind of log level. Basically, this is the log level you have a different log levels like trace debug info warning and error either one you can use to print uh, this logs in the log file but you need to understand which one print when okay so when you write this statement this will print the log in log file but you need to understand here in which file it will print because when you install AEM, AEM comes with default log files and you can create any number of the log files as well. And when you create your project using Maven, Maven create a specific log file for your project, right? So all the your project log file will be logs will be printed in your project specific log file. But how that you know AEM or the logger know that this log statement should go to this file because here I'm not defining anything right so we'll see that configuration as well okay now let's understand and let's see the demo straight away then we will discuss the log levels when we'll see that configuration okay uh, so for demo I write a sling model service demo implementation you can this logger will work in any component okay in simple I got a logger and then I'm printing this so let's see and I'm using the info so let's deploy and let's see how uh, this will start printing okay, okay so this uh, sling model is attached to one of the component I do not have anything in component but to call that sling model I'm just refreshing this component so when I refresh this I should check the logs so where are the logs present so you have to go when where your uh, this AM installed inside CRX you have to go to logs and there will be a file specific to your project okay am geeks and if you open it you will see this log has been printed it print logs the same thing okay so suppose now but that that's perfectly fine so whatever i have means my all project specific uh, logs will be printed to this file but suppose i have a requirement i want a specific file in which i need only logs from this class that's it not any other class from any other class so for that you will be writing a custom log file you will be creating that so how will you create the, create that so for that you have to go to uh, configuration manager means console let me go there okay so in configuration manager it's a system console and then you can find configuration manager under that you will find a configuration apache sling logging logger configuration 
this is a factory configuration so if you're not aware what is a factory configuration and all we will have a dedicated tutorial for OSG configurations don't worry about that for now you can understand uh, like you can create more than one configuration of same means more than one instance of same configuration you can relate to multi-field but it's not exactly the multi-field right so you can this see if you see here you will find a many configuration below this plus sign let me create one more so to create a custom file custom log file you have to click on plus and then you will find this option okay so now you will see few options here first is a drop down right here you will see the five option trace debug info warning error what i talked to you initially so let's understand what is those okay so if you let, let's understand let me okay so there's a five uh, log levels trace debug info and warning suppose i define an order is top to bottom right what is the order don't worry you will understand so if i define a log file with trace so that means all the log statement uh, written using debug info warning error will be printed right but suppose i define a log file next you will understand suppose i define a log file using info Dog, log level info so this upper ones trace or debug will not print in that log file keep in mind okay so all the log statement with trace and debug will not print and all the statement uh, with info warning and error will be printed so this is important log level so you have to choose accordingly right in in while creating log file okay so for now let's choose info and now here you have to define the name of this file right by default it's error you have to you know uh, give a name so let me see if service and then demo right uh, this is folder name it will that means it will create a file under folder under folder logs okay so here now let's come to this this message pattern basically you just need to understand this it's it's not bit important for you you just need to understand okay the first part show the time right date and time when you will see a message so before that message you will see date and time okay and this will be your log level what is your log level it will define your uh, means the which class it is and finally it will be a message okay so the important configuration here is a logger now in this configuration you have to define your package so whatever the package you will define here it will this file will print logs means your aem or logger will print logs only for that package okay so defining your project log file your project package is defined here so suppose now i want to print uh, you can either define a package or you can even define a file as well so it's a multi you know array type you can define any number of so let let me define only for that file okay so i have this package okay and i want to oh, you means this file will be used only for the loggers of the service demo okay so let's add this what is this adaptivity uh, i'll discuss it later uh, let, let's understand till now so as when you save this there should be a file under logs folder with name service demo okay so see this file has been created now okay right now it's it should be empty now if i start printing this so now because i said now this logs of this file should go to the service demo so now let's refresh this again okay and now let's see that file so now this uh, the log specific to that file printed to my this file only okay so you will see it is saying it is printing from here and what I discussed about mess message pattern this date time and this is my level so this kind of so now this message will not print in your uh, project file right let me show you that as well so let me open this right this is earlier one this time it's not printed let me remove it okay and let me refresh it again 
print. Now it's not printed, but it printed in this again twice it's printed. So that way you can define or, or even you can define a simple uh, package as well. So if I define like this, let me search where it is, should be longer. Okay, this one, uh, service demo. If I define like this, suppose I remove this and let me zoom a bit. Okay, so if I define only this, that means all the logs under this package, all the logs written in uh, all the files under this package will print to this file, right? So you can define in this way as well. Okay, if I define in only this, like this, that means all the logs of my uh, project, because my project uh, package starting from this com am geeks will be print start printing to this file. Okay, so now you should understand how the logs, I mean which log statement go to which file. Okay, let me, now let me cancel it, you understood. Okay, now let's understand the log levels in detail. So suppose I have written five log statements like log.trace debug info warning error, right? Messages, uh, accordingly I print that message. So my log file is of info level, means at this level. Right. So the statements message above this will not print and below this will print because as I showed you its hierarchy is top to bottom. So if I define a file of log level info, the lower statements will print starting from info. Okay. So let's see. Uh, let me deploy this. Let me deploy this and print. So if you see now the three statements has been printed info warning and error right which were lower than this file now if i change the uh, you know load level of this file suppose i change to trace so what will happen let me let me find that right i'm changing to trace that means all the log statement will start printing okay let's save it and just refresh it okay it's done and if i open it now now if you see all the statements have starting from trace debug trace debug info uh, warning and error all has been printed now so that way you can manage your file log level that's why in actual production environment log level is always error so to avoid unnecessary uh, you know logging statement because it will unnecessarily keep increasing the repository size okay now let's understand what is the purpose of this adaptivity this okay this what is the purpose of this this so uh, suppose what I created is sub file, right? Other statements or other logging statements are going to my file, which is am log. So this one, other statements are going here. So suppose if I want my log statements go to service demo as well as whatever the file in hierarchy upper one. Suppose this is this is the file, right? This is the sub file means a sub package or sub class I'm using. So if I want my log statement should print in this, okay, uh, this file, uh, wait, just a second. So if I want to print my log statement in this file as well as in this file. So if I check this, if I add check this, so the log statement will start printing in both. So that's the purpose of this. If you want the log statement in my parent file as well as in my child file, so it means child in the sense don't uh, don't confuse you know don't don't assume the parent child relations means that's package and sub package. Okay. So if you want that uh, you know log statement should be printed in both. In that case, I should use it. Okay. So if I save it here, it will start printing in both means the file I created as well as the uh, project specific file. Okay. So you will see here the logs are printed in this service demo as well as my AM geeks means the parent file as well. Okay. So suppose now uh, one more concept you need to understand. Suppose uh, if you do not have access in actual environment, if you do not have access to the file structure, 
and generally you will not have in actual environments so there is a one more way of you know checking logs go to this uh, sling and there should be log support so here you will find all the logs and you can create a new log file as well here add a new logger right you can define uh, same way like you can define whatever it's there adaptivity and the log file okay and here you can define the package or uh, you know specific class and uh, here you can check your logs as well these are the existing log files if you want to check it just click on that file and you will see you can see this okay so that is the one more way of checking it so sometimes you know there is a question about log levels and this console as well in certification exam as well as the interviews okay i hope you understood about the loggers if you have any question please do comment thank you